Good afternoon. My name is Earl Robichaud, and I'm one of the three photographers at Art by the Sea Gallery. And this is the first of, I hope to be, many more artists talking our art. So first, a little introduction about myself. I've been a photographer actively since 1996. So I have almost 30 years of experience, first with film and then digital. During that time, I was able to amass a quite substantial body of work, both initially with wildlife photography and then moving into landscape, travel, and stock photography. Another thing I wanted to talk about today um, before I began to talk about the three pieces of artwork that I have um, is what Art by the Sea has to offer to the visitors and to the residents of Bandon. All of the artists at Art by the Sea Gallery are available for commission work. And if a, a visitor or a resident doesn't see what they may be particularly looking for, they should talk to the different artists and see if they can develop or produce something that will better suit their, their wants and desires. Uh, if you take the photographers, we can recreate images in whatever size or in whatever format that a, a visitor may desire. So if you don't see something, just ask. So now I'll launch into a discussion of my three pictures. The first picture I'm going to talk about is this one of the orange tulips. Um, and I particularly love this one. It is my attempt at abstract, uh, abstract photography, where the, all that's being shown and presented just the yellow orange of the tulips with a little bit of the green in the, uh, of the leaves. So uh, this picture was taken in uh, the Skagit Flats in the uh, state of Washington, north of Seattle. And I used to, when we lived in Seattle, I, every spring I would travel up to the Skagit Flats and take pictures of the tulips. Um, when I was getting ready to to submit this and to um, name it, I went online to do some searching of for possibly the uh, biological name for it. And I came across this particular website that was this basically it is a uh, it is symbolism and metaphors of different things. So I was amazed <laughs> and shocked, I guess one could say, that the, the orange tulip represents forbidden love, organic originality, good luck, fertility, success. So who knew? Um, orange tulips symbolize a forbidden or hidden love original good luck, wealth, fertility, success. So I decided that I would name this Forbidden Love. So just to, just to show you that I'm not totally off the bat on this, here's another website with a Peter Talk that has the meaning behind each tulip color. Who knew? So here we go down to orange tulips, and orange tulips are used to convey a sense of understanding and appreciation between two people, usually in relationships. Bouquet of orange tulips can mean that you feel both physically and spiritually connected. So uh, there you go. The next picture I'm gonna talk about is the uh, this picture of the Tommy C, one of the uh, fishing boats out of uh, Char Charleston Harbor. And I just uh, really like the feel that this 
image conveys. Um, I used a little bit of a overlay um, to give the clouds and the water in the area a feel for almost like a watercolor painting. And it is so reminiscent of the day that I took this picture, kind of overclass in Misty. Um, just so you know, for those who are not familiar, the um, Charleston Harbor, I'm gonna go to the, um, here we go. So here is uh, Charleston Harbor. As you can see, it's, it's actually uh, close to the mouth of the bay where Coos Bay is that comes out in here. And Charleston Harbor is a very active uh, seaport, fishing port with a couple processors. There is this Hallmark Fisheries a processor. And then up at the top here is you got another one. Not that one, but um, where is it? I think it's this one. Here we go. The Pacific Seafood, Charleston. So as you can see, all of these fishing boats here. Um, and there is the Coast Guard station right here. And where I took the picture is in this area right here with the boats and everything stood there. And this is the South Slough of the Charleston Harbor that goes down. The uh, picture is uh, 22 by 28. 28 in the length and 22 inches high. And the same thing, museum quality glass. The last image I'm gonna talk about is this one called Middle Point Cove. And this is uh, was taken in Nova Scotia um, on a uh, trip that my wife and I made to um, <coughs> visit the area. Being Robichaud, uh, my ancestors are Acadian French, and it was uh, an exploration of the early days for my family. <coughs> and this is again, as I've, I've kind of uh, endeavored to create a little bit more of a feeling of a painting rather than uh, it just being a regular photo uh, picture. As you can see that from the boats in Nova Scotia, they're a lot more into lobsters. And this is almost the um, eighth stereotypical lobster boat that they have there. So um, let me go to the maps to show you where Middle Point Cove is. Um, so we can go to the map here, and here we have Nova Scotia, um, and it is in the South Central. Here we have Halifax, and on our trip, we stayed for uh, a week in Peggy's Cove, which is a wonderful spot, very popular, and it's very popular to the cruise ships. What they do is they actually come into Halifax Harbor and then they kind of boat them down and stay there for a day. Um, and Middle Point Cove is just right over here. Little harbor right there. And you can see the kind of the, the docks and everything where, where Middle Point Cove is. The, um, for anybody interested in going to Nova Scotia, there's this wonderful town over here called Lunenburg, which um, as you can see here, has a nice, nice red buildings. And it's uh, really quite a attractive town for anybody that has seen um, the, for anybody that had seen the Jesse Stone uh, movie series, they, all of them take place in the Lunenburg and um, in the uh, Nova Scotia area. The, that way you get a, a flavor for it. So, so the in thing, thing about my answers is, is that, and the Acadians, is that they came into 
It settled in the 1650s in Port Royal, which is this little harbor right there. And here is Port Royal right there where the French settled. Um, the uh, Port Royal is one of the most fought after <coughs> harbors in the world, particularly between the, between the French, the British, and then ultimately the United States of the colonies. So, and then this is the, um, the where the French settled, and this is the British fort right here. So, um, a great place to visit. And before leaving, I wanted to point out something that uh, people are generally speaking not aware of. And if you look in this map, and if you draw a line straight across, you'll find that actually Nova Scotia is essentially on the same longitudinal level as Portland. And from where I took the, the picture there, I drew an, actually a line on a map here. And you can kind of see, drawing the line, that there really is not, oops, they're really not that far north of us, even though when you look at another map like Google Maps, you get the impression that Nova Scotia is quite a ways farther north. So anyway, so the, um, close this and close, yeah. So the, um, this picture, this picture is also 22 by 28. Same thing, archival paper, museum quality glass. Thanks for, thanks for listening to me.